Corpus Christi businesswoman who fled Russia in 2014 is also speaking out against the invasion of Ukraine. But she's keeping her protest quiet and anonymous out of fear. Greg Chandler joins us now in the studio. Greg, what is it that she fears? Well, Pat, she fears for her family still living in Russia. She says she also fears retaliation from a regime known for silencing opposition. I pray for these souls to stop soon, possibly today, this second. This is Zoya. That's not her real name, and we're not showing you her face. And my mother is here now. You see, Zoya was born in Russia. I feel ashamed to be Russian. Her shame comes from her home country's invasion of Ukraine. Zoya says she feels useless watching images of war on television. It reminds her of 2014 when Russia invaded, then annexed the Crimean Peninsula. Made me realize that nothing gonna be better after that point. You can call it pessimism, but I call it realism. Zoya says she protested that annexation, but worried for her safety. Everybody know that you go to the street to protest, you go to the prison next step. Her words proving true as anti-war protests in Moscow ended in arrests. Even so, Zoya is encouraged to see more of her fellow Russians speaking against President Vladimir Putin. Putin is not Russia. My family back there, they understand what's happening, but what they can do at this point. Her wish for more people in her new home to be able to separate the actions of Russia's government from what's in the heart of her people. Please don't hate Russians. We are against this as much as you are. And Zoya believes the only way Russia will withdraw from Ukraine is if the Russian military starts suffering heavy losses. In the studio, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.